Hello, this tutorial is going to be about objects and classes in Python and um, those two things are very closely related and uh, it will become clear in what way they are related as the tutorial progresses. First I'm going to just straightforwardly explain what an object is. Uh, it is an encapsulation of variables and functions into a single entity. Um, that's really the whole. That's really it. Um, uh, the only problem with that explanation, although it is accurate, the only problem is that it doesn't capture the sense of power that programmers get from using um, this method of programming. Uh, so I'll just say it again: objects are in an encapsulation of variables and functions. And for some mysterious reason, which I'll explain later in the tutorial, uh, this is incredibly useful. So. Um, uh, now I'll just go ahead and, and show you how to uh, how to perform that encapsulation of variables and functions. Uh, first off, and this will explain the relationship between classes and objects. First off, you need to define your class, and the class uh, will be used as uh, a template uh, from which to create your actual objects, which will which you'll use in your code. So uh, to begin with, uh, to create a class, you just type the word class to let Python know that you want to create a class. Then you type the name of your class. Uh, I'm going to call it my class. Then the colon, then you press enter. And indented on the next line is, as usual, where you uh, 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 put the body uh, of the thing that you're defining. So this is the body of the class definition. Um, so I've mentioned that uh, objects are an encapsulation of variables and functions. Uh, so, uh, and that this class is a template for producing um, those uh, objects. Uh, so, it follows fairly logically that um, uh, the class should also have both variables and functions defined inside it. Uh, so, I'm going to begin just by. Uh, defining a variable and you do it in the normal uh, exact same way as you define a variable anywhere else just type the vari variable name and then assign a value to it and that's it I've created our our famous and standard variable one and assign the value an integer one to it uh, so that's that's that um, uh, now I'm going to define a function inside this class I'm going to call it function one and it's going to be almost a, com a completely standard um, function. There's just one thing that's slightly different which you need to do and that is to provide a parameter called self uh, to the function. Uh, that's, that's the only, that's the only uh, thing that's, that's a little bit different and I'll explain what that does um, uh, when we actually use the function in a moment. Uh, but for now I'll just type uh, our usual function uh, body it's going to say, well, almost start completely useful. This time it's going to say hello from my class. And I'll close the string and close the function call. So that's it. We have encapsulated uh, a variable and a function inside uh, a class definition. Uh, now to create uh, an object from that class, uh, all we have to do is uh, type the name of a normal variable, uh, my I'm going to call this one my object one. I'm going to set it equal to my class, uh, and this is uh, the name of the class that you want to use to create your object, uh, followed by the uh, function call, the uh, parentheses. So it's it's kind of as if you're calling the class as a function, but um, all it does is to create an object. Um, based on the class definition here. Um, and then obviously I'm assigning it to uh, this variable here in the normal way. Uh, so now my object one uh, holds a holds an object uh, of w which is of the class um, my class uh, which is defined here in this code. So um, uh, the class encapsulates uh, this variable and uh, this function. Uh, so the uh, most important question is how can we access that variable and that function 
and you do it through the object uh, that you've just created uh, my object one is the object I created and then you press the dot, uh, the full stop um, period if you're American and um, then you type the name of the uh, variable or um, function that you want to access here I'm accessing variable one so that means I'm accessing variable one inside uh, the object called my object and because my object is an instance of the class named my class uh, variable one refers to this variable here which holds the value one so all of that means that this section of code here will evaluate to the value one uh, but at the moment I'm not doing anything with that value so just to see uh, that um, that is true um, uh, th that this evaluates to one I'm going to pass it to the print function and then I'll just reveal the console uh, here and then uh, now when I execute the script we'll see the value one printed to the screen so I'll just do that now pressing Alt P and as expected down at the bottom here we have the value one printed to the screen so so far we've seen how to uh, define a class um, uh, and how to encapsulate variables and functions inside that class we've seen how to uh, create an object which is an instance of that class uh, by uh, typing the class name followed by the parentheses we've seen how to assign that object to a variable uh, and that's done in the normal way with the equal sign and we've seen how to access the variables inside that uh, object uh, using the dot notation by specifying the variable name uh, the name of the variable which hold that object followed by the dot and then followed by the name of the variable within the object or within the class the other thing that needs to be emphasized is that when you create uh, a new object based on uh, your class it gets its own independent copies of the variable specified in your class so when I create a new instance uh, of the um, of the class named my class and assign it to a new variable uh, this object named my object uh, this object named my object 2 has um, has its own copies uh, of uh, the, its own copy of variable 1 so when I uh, change the value of variable 1 within my object 1 uh, it won't affect the copy of variable 1 within my object 2 so I'm just going to access uh, variable 1 within my object 1 uh, using the dot syntax my object one dot variable one and then I'm going to assign a value to it I'm going to assign a big number to it um, uh, so now uh, this value here uh, the variable one inside my object one which is being printed right here uh, will be 5000 um, so so when this line executes 5000 will be printed to the screen but if I print uh, the uh, value of variable uh, 1 within my object 2 which hasn't been altered uh, we'll see that uh, we'll see that it hasn't been altered and that it is indeed uh, independent of the value of variable 1 inside my object 1 so I'll press Alt P and uh, we see that 5000 is printed uh, for the value of variable 1 inside my object one uh, and that one is printed for the value of variable one within my object two. In the next tutorial we'll uh, access the function that we've encapsulated within our class and we'll also see exactly why you always have to specify this parameter named self in any function that you define uh, within a class that you make. So thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you soon in the next tutorial.